What is going on guys? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. Today's the last day of the year, 2019, last day of the decade. 2020 is right here staring us in the face, guys. I'm excited to end the year on a green trade, guys. An awesome green trade that only took nine, 10 minutes. Um, full disclosure before I start, you know I'm all about disclosures. Um, but before I begin, if you came here for just a trade, I'm going to go ahead and put a timestamp in the description down below. Um, if you don't want to hear me talk and just hear for the trade, there you have it, guys. Full disclosure on the actual trade. Um, do not try this at home. This is where one of those times where do not listen to me kind of thing. Um, when I actually entered the trade, I actually was driving. I pulled over. I tried actually buying um, calls on the actual app, but I, I couldn't figure it out. I need to actually get better at that, but I never really trade on the app anyways, but I went ahead and called my broker, uh, Tastyworks, and actually uh, placed a buy order. I wasn't so sure exactly where my indicators were and whatnot, so that's why I, I only ended up buying one uh, call option, but I ended up making uh, a good percentage, a good return on that one call option. Let me show you that trade now so I can get back and I want to talk to you about what I have coming um, this year and my mentality, guys. So let me show you that trade right now. Alrighty, guys, let me break down this uh, trade for you as quickly and as clearly as I possibly can. What we're looking at here is if you look to your far left, you'll have the one minute intraday chart of the uh, call options that I trade in. If you look in the middle, you'll see the one hour chart on SPY. And if you look to the far right, you'll see the daily chart on SPY. And when the signal came in, I was actually on my lunch break. I made a mental note as to where that upper uh, MOBO band was before I actually left uh, the office. And, you know, from going and getting food and, um, and watching the markets on my phone, I noticed that we went above uh, 321.40. I remember, you know, understanding that that upper band was around um, high 20s, somewhere around there. And so I was actually driving to work and I pulled over and, um, and it was way late. It really was. It was way late. I'll show you exactly when I bought in. But I went ahead and uh, took that risk. Um, I pulled over, tried actually um, looking it up on the app, trying to buy, couldn't, called uh, Tastyworks, made a um, my entry essentially um, through the phone over a representative. And because of the signal here, and let me show you that trade now. Let me show you, here we go. I bought one call option, the 321 calls that expire in eight days. I bought them at 225 and I bought it right at 151 my time, just nine minutes uh, before the closing bell. And if you see here, the volume, very bottom left of your screen, you'll see the volume. And if you see here, 151, right there, that was mine, uh, my buy. And then I sold at 260 for um, a 15% gain in just nine minutes afterwards. And you see that right there. Pretty awesome, guys. That was very quick. And... Uh, a couple of things, yes. Um, I since I wasn't at my computer, I didn't want to put uh, buy buy two call options just because I didn't know exactly what was happening. So I don't necessarily advise anyone to do what I did and what I'm showing you. I'm just showing you the trade here, and the way that this is supposed to work, guys, is once I buy in, I buy, um, I sell at a 10% gain for half of my position. The other half, I'm either going to sell for even money if it drops back down after I sell that, that half, that first half, or the other half is basically a bonus looking for bigger gains, guys. And it's the art of scaling out. That's in, in a very nutshell, layman's terms, is the art of scaling out. So I just wanted to show you guys this trade trade that I made towards the end of the day today and I since I only bought one I went ahead and sold um, mainly just because I, I, I just didn't want to put that full risk of come uh, Monday or excuse me on Thursday when the market
markets open because they're closed on New Year's Day and it uh, gapped down and me being in a losing trade. So again, taking those profits when I can. Uh, still, my mentality is just uh, a bit different here. And let me talk to you a little bit about that. Alrighty, folks. Now with that out of the way, let me talk to you a little bit about my mentality. Um, my mentality as of going forward basically is I'm not in this game for the short game. I'm in it for the long game. What I mean by that is the amount of money that I'm actually trading with or how much I'm actually making makes no difference, guys. I am in this game to play the game. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm playing the infinite game. Um, I'm, I'm not here just for uh, quick, you know, get rich quick um, or overnight or any of that nature. No, I, I don't care about that. I want to play the game called the stock market guys so i'm in it for the long haul that's pretty much everything guys that i have for you guys um i wish everybody a happy new year let's make 2020 the most profitable year yet guys be safe out there if you guys do drink drink responsibly please call yourself a lift uber whatever you have friend mom dad uh boyfriend girlfriend whatever it is guys call a friend i know you don't really need to hear this from me but i'm gonna say it anyways please be responsible be safe out on the road guys and see you here next time next year next decade let's make it a great one guys thank you so much i'm out take care Bye.